Super Bowl Sunday. We are here at the Xfinity Center where Maryland takes it over the Wisconsin Badgers 68-63. Joining me on the Viner Four Gates post-game show, intern Mason, Robert Stevens. Guys, it was a nip and tuck game. Mason, what'd you make of it tonight? Well, it was definitely an interesting one. Wisconsin kept on battling back, but at the end, Maryland prevailed. Robert, you saw a lot of great defense, pressure defense from Maryland at the end. They ran Herter back and forth, and then he took over the game at the end. You think he's starting to reach his potential here? Yeah, I thought he played very well. More importantly also is the two big guys, Herter and Anthony Cowan, showed up big in the second half, especially down the stretch. They scored the last four points of the ball game, and I thought the defensive play – Especially of Obi, there was an Obi sighting today. There was. He came through. The Obi sighting, five <laughs> rebounds in five minutes. It's pretty good. End of the game. It's with Herter. Seven on the shot clock. Three on the elbow. Herter pumping. Throws in. But every community is pretty basic stuff. I have been at 40. It's down this pretty direct. Simply five. Simply three. Pretty good. Ethan Happ, for a while, didn't score so much. Ends up being the leading scorer for Wisconsin. He was doing it all. Rebounds, assists. You could tell he's the heart of the team. What'd you make of his day, Mason? He's one of those players in this conference that's just all about the fundamentals and executes them at such a high level. A real Wisconsin basketball player. And you got to see it. Just the other guys on the team, most of them just not getting it done. He only had five points in the first half. Yeah, five so points. So obviously there was a big adjustment that the coach made in the second half, and he came alive and became aggressive one-on-one uh, -on -one because they did play him one-on-one. -on -one. They were playing man-to-man -man at that yeah. particular time. Right, and it took till there were four or five minutes left before they started to quickly double. They were running Herder from one end of the court to one side of the court to the other, and he covered that ground fantastically. I thought it was, it was pretty good. Uh, Mason... When you see a team like Wisconsin that, that seems to do everything right, were you surprised that I counted nine blown shots? You said it was seven air balls. Yeah, early in the game, fans getting on them. They're just missing everything a few times at the beginning of the second half, but they were able to clean that up as the game went on, and that's when they actually got the opportunity to win the game was once that stopped. So Wisconsin, a team that, again, they – are all about the fundamentals, all about guys that do it right. But early in this game, they were a little bit rattled by this crowd that even though it was small, was all over them. They were just missing everything. All right, I'm going to give you uh, the last one. Here. You've been to many, many games, probably thousands. Have you seen a top division team come out and shoot that many air balls? No, a matter of fact, I was sitting uh, with the NBA scouts, Bob Ferry and Kevin Grevy of the Lakers. And at halftime, we were joking. He was like, I'm about ready to leave. I've never seen anything like this before. But this is a huge win for Maryland. Maryland had to have this ball game. And who knows, if they get uh, the big guys back and they get a good stretch run, they could be eligible to get back in the big dance. But they had to defend their turf today. All right, Robert Mason, thanks for being on segment one. We're going to be back with a special guest here on the Viner Four Gates postgame show, Maryland takes the day over Wisconsin. We'll be back in a moment. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. at Xfinity Center, now joined in by Bruce Bosner and a famous Terrapin. It's Billy Hahn. Bruce, I'm going to give you this one. All right, Billy, let's start off 
what's it like to be back here in the Maryland spectra? You know, we all miss you. And the best thing was when I would go to, I think I saw you in a playoff game at Georgetown. What's it like to be back with Maryland? Well, this is my first time back really? in this building. Really? I, I always saw at Cole Fieldhouse, did my playing there and did my coaching there. But I've never, I've never watched a game in the Xfinity Center until today. And I walked in, I'm going, wow, this place is pretty cool. Yeah. I could only imagine what this place was like when, when it's completely filled. Not that they didn't have a good crowd today. I thought it was very loud. But I'll tell you what, I can imagine how good this place is when they come in with a big, you know, somebody's in the top five, top ten. I can imagine it's unbelievable. Well, well Billy, i got to ask you this because besides being at Maryland and head coach for a while, you were with the Huggy Baron. Yeah. What's he like? This guy is like, first of all, he seems like an unbelievable coach. Well, I, I, I'll give you a couple of stories. I was 10 years with him. I've known Coach Hawkins for 40 years. He's an unbelievable guy. He sort of has a reputation, or if people don't really know him, he's got this reputation that he's a bad guy or something. Bob Huggins is the greatest guy in the world. Yeah, I never really heard that. Now, much. let me tell you yeah. something. Yeah. I've been able to work with Gary Williams here 12 years and 10 years with Bob Huggins. Yeah. I don't know if there's another person in America could say that they were an assistant coach for two Hall of Fame coaches. Yeah, that's that's true. Gary's Hall of Fame, it's just a matter of time until Huggs is Hall of Fame. Oh, yes. All right, let me ask you about West Virginia's style of play. You watch them, and I know when they beat Maryland a few years back, it seems like it's a roughhouse kind of play. Now, I'm not saying that negatively, but I saw what they did to Trey Young. And he's the only guy who's been able to do that, to take the kid completely out of his game. What is it about what he does that gets such, such response from his players? Coach Huggins is a very demanding coach. And he's really tough on our players. But with all his toughness, he has an unbelievable ability that the kids love him. And the kids will do anything for Bob Huggins. As hard as he is on them, they give him everything they got. It creates chaos. It creates 40 minutes of hell. It creates you to make plays for 40 minutes. A lot of people can't do that. Right, well, yeah, Maryland ran into a bus right. hall. Go ahead. Well, that's the last time we saw you was passing in the hall in Columbus, Ohio, after you guys uh, squeezed the life out of Maryland. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was a pretty good day for us for West Virginia. That it day. wasn't that great for yeah, us, yeah, but uh, I will take that. It's good for us. Uh, uh, but I got the Maryland colors back on. You do. I told Troy Ringway, <laughs> called me up to be honorary captain. I said, Troy, yeah. you got to send me some Maryland gear. Yeah. I, I, I left here in 2001. My Maryland gear is gone. Right. Yeah. And, and I gained too much weight. Yeah, yeah. like me, you need that double X. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look good in Under Armour, both Thank of you. you. Thank both you. of you look good. Go ahead, Wayne. So the defensive principles that you taught, how long does it take for a guy to come into a program like West Virginia and pick up on that defense? Uh, we not, that, not, not that long, to be honest with you. It's basically all your rules that you do at half court, you do at the full court, so you extend, you extend it, but everything you teach at the half court carries over to the full court to be honest with you right. no ball they do they they play vertically or you played vertical up and down the court so you couldn't cross it over that's correct. and it's it, the ball gets stuck on one side and when you try to throw those longer passes that's where the turnovers come from billy what made you call it quits because i'm sure you could stay there until the, your final days i had 41 years 41 years is a long time how old are you i just turned 64. wow wow i, I got started college coaching Right when I graduated from Maryland in 75, at Morris Harvey College, Charles, West Virginia. So 41 years, I had enough. And I, I just I just don't want to do it anymore. And I don't miss it at all, to be honest with you. But you worked for two intense dudes. Unbelievable. And you were intense yourself. Yes, I was. So in other words, you know, I never forget you just over the years with Gary. Your relationship was, was special. Right, right. And... Uh, you were great, and it's great to have you back in Maryland. Oh, that, that will do it for our Super Bowl Sunday edition. 
It's great to have you back, man. You got to come back in and visit us again. All right. Thanks. Thank That's you, Billy Hahn. First positive, I'm Wayne Wait, 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 wait. We got, who you going to pick? I am sticking with the New England Patriots. Will they cover four and a half? Yes. They will not. I think New England will win by a field goal. It seems like that's been their fate this year, to win close games. Mm -hmm. We'll see. All right. So uh, at Penn State, and then back here for our first split crew at Maryland. Uh, is that we'll next week? We'll have a Penn State. Yeah, next Saturday. All right. Is, I'll be at the lacrosse. We'll be. You'll be here. I'll come over, hopefully after the game's put away. I shouldn't say that. Yep. Uh, Good. But Wednesday, we'll have a pregame show for the Penn State game. Absolutely. We'll talk. All right. Okay. We will do that. Good afternoons from Xfinity Center.